Hello everyone and welcome, I am Slayfat Wombat and this is Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition stream number 3. What we are going to be doing in this stream is just carrying on from stream number 2. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all we're going to be doing. In the last stream I helped out the... I helped out the uh, bon the boomers, bombers, boomers, whatever you call them. I helped them out and they're really happy. So now I'm going to help out the uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. And then after that, I don't know. So yeah, if you have any hints, tips, tricks or questions, feel free to ask me. And I will try my best to answer them. Sorry, I'm just looking at my playback, seeing if it's choppy or not. What I wish to discuss with you can wait for once I get settled in the command room, outsider. Okay, so let me just explain what's happened. There is a bug, there's a lot of bugs in all these Fallout games, which sucks. There is a bug that Elder McNamara can get stuck where he is right now. When you click on him, that line comes up that, wait until I'm in my chair. So, what I found out and what I've read, for you to be able to fix this, you have to do what I'm about to do. Now, this is only on PC, I don't know if it's applicable on console or anything like that. So, anyways. What you do, you hit the um, you hit the button next to one on the left side and above tab. I don't know what's called. You click on uh, Elder McNamara and you type in disable. He disappears, and then you type in and then you type in the numbers up the top. So zero 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 E two F eight seven space and then enable. I thought that was right. Okay, wait, hold on. There you go. Yeah. Okay, you don't have to type in. You just got to press... You So you just type in disable, and then you press enable. Type in enable. And there you go. See how it's moving? Apparently what it does, it disables the command, or it disables something in the coding, and then when you... Went, and then so it resets him once you re-enable him. I don't know why, it just... It's the way it is. Oh, it's hot. When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, Teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. 
Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Sorry, I've already done this mission like twice already. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Hardman. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble, and he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years, and those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by, and many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations, and all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an Elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters, so they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard, Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. All right, ladies and all right, ladies and gentlemen. So, I've, like I said, I've already done all these missions and everything. I know exactly what's going to happen um, with everything. So, we'll just we're just going to keep to keep keep to what we are doing, and we'll go from there. I hope I hope that the stream doesn't get choppy or anything like that. If it does, then I don't know.
comes back to that's a back on building. Alright, this it doesn't look choppy. Maybe I just need to restart my computer or something. I don't know. Sorry, so yesterday I tried to stream this and I streamed it for about three hours. And then I watched it back and it was all choppy, like it was cutting and everything. You didn't see everything that was happening, which really annoyed me. So Delirium. Hello Nathan Hunter, how are you? I don't have a cheat, I'm just taking guesses on the words. Valid facial pattern to So I'm pretty average. Found out a few things yesterday with my computer and the ability it has or the inability it has. So that's really annoyed me. Oh, that's what it is. But other than that, I'm pretty good. Salutations today. That's 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 not that's not English. There you go. Is it choppy? Does the stream look like, um the graphics are slightly better? But it's not so choppy, is it? Like I know yesterday I had a, some issues with the graphics and the stream. I'm just making sure that it looks okay now. I can't really fix the graphics. I like. Uh, Third floor access is. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. But I hope it looks okay. Well, 
that's still slow, so that's, that's annoying. Alright. Nah, sorry, so... I don't know what was up with the graphics or the stream yesterday, I have no idea. So yesterday, after I watched my stream back and had to erase it, because... I don't want to have crappy streams, I know that I'm not the most loved person in the YouTube community. But I, I still don't want to have really bad choppy streams. Anyways, uh, when I watched it through yesterday, it was really choppy and I couldn't, I just didn't want to keep it. So I went through all of the settings that you have to go through. Um, ooh, right, yeah, we got to. So I went through all the settings on Tale of Two Wastelands uh, and the, you know, the optimization and FPS and everything like that changed everything to what they said and all that so I'm hoping it looks better but I'm not gonna hold my breath if it's, if it's not so I thought I already had the password um spike the characters still look like the sprites from Pokemon Red on Game Boy Color they look as good as Fallout 3, lol. Yep, it's a, it's a thing with Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3, there's not really a lot of difference between the two games. I'm going to get yelled at for that and proven wrong, I can tell you that now. I don't mean that the games are, like... The f to be able to play Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas with Tale of Two Wastelands is just amazing. They're pretty much... They still run on the same sort of engine, the same sort of gameplay as well. Just Fallout New Vegas has a lot more than Fallout 3, so... Um, that was a guess, as you can tell. I don't know, and, oh, I should never play New Vegas. I would say what, what is wrong with you, but then I'm pretty sure I haven't played half the games that other people are playing, like... Yeah. Sorry. Well, remember, Fallout 3 is 12 years old, and Fallout New Vegas is... Um... 10 years old? Eleven? I don't. I, I don't really remember when New Vegas came out, but. Shit. No. Door. No. Wrong door. It doesn't look too bad and you guys like watching it, that's fine, but like like I said, the game is quite old, so it doesn't have all the graphics and it doesn't have the latest details and everything like that, so, and I think, what's Fallout 3? I think it's, I think Fallout 3 is 3.5 gigabyte game compared to Warzone, which is like a 200 gigabyte game, so... Wasn't there like two? Um, hold on. Shadow Clan says, I show this as a thing in Fallout 4, but I love that there is no level cap. So I am OP as fuck. Well, <laughs> um, hold up. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm level cap. Well, I'm cap at this moment in time. I can keep getting levels higher and uh, purchasing perks, but I can't add any more points to my skills. So. That's one thing. Um, wasn't there like two? What do you mean two? Like Fallout New Vegas 2? Or Fallout 3 2? Which wouldn't work. People are speculating that Fallout Vegas New Vegas 2 is in the works because Microsoft Microsoft, uh, Microsoft just bought Xenomax. I missed it, didn't I? Yeah, he's over here. Um, I... 
I don't really think they should go back to New Vegas for Fallout. I think they should go somewhere else. Like, their whole bombings happened all around America. So why can't we go to Chicago? Why can't we go to Seattle? Why can't we go to New York? That would be awesome. Ma imagine if Fallout 5 was based in New York. That would be fucking sweet. Sorry, just, I could talk about what I'm doing in the quest, but, I th uh, anyways. Oh, uh, and if you don't, if you haven't realized, Forks is from Fallout 3. I got him after I encountered the Enclave and he became my companion. The crap thing was I couldn't take him with me in the DLCs, and I was curious if I could bring Forks with me, um, to the to the Mojave Desert, and you can. So I was quite happy about that. God, this feels like the Enclave base. I swear. Uh, no, wasn't there like two like games before three? Um, there was Fallout One, Fallout Two, Fallout Brotherhood, and Fallout Tactics. Or was it? I think that was Fallout Brotherhood of Steel and Fallout Tactics. Found I the think. missing patrols, or you might need was Google something? It. They were all dead then. Sorry. I suppose I'm not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. Um, so Nathan Hunt, no, wasn't there like two games before? Yeah, I answered that. I'm not sure though my brain isn't working. Yeah, I think there was Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Brotherhood of Steel, and then Tactics, or something like that. And then Bethesda bought the rights to Fallout 3, or something like that. Um, how I've heard about it is one of the designers, or one of the developers from Bethesda, was talking to Todd Howard, or Todd Howard was talking to him about games, and he's just like, and it, somehow the Fallout franchise came up and Todd's just like, I want that. And the guy just said, just called up his friend and apparently Bethesda just bought it from him. And then Fallout 3 came into being. Um, I forgot to comment this earlier, but Fallout 4 has a hidden location that follows up on the Chinese communism, communist invasion. I'll look into that. There's a lot of things that Fallout 4 has from Fallout 3 if you think about it. But... I'll look into it. Uh, nope, this way. This way? Yeah, this way. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I don't know a lot about Fallout 3 or the Fallout universe. Like, I do enjoy the Fallout games, but, I ha but I'm not going to dedicate my entire gaming existence and life to them. That's just me, though. Oh, um, oh, this is back when Elder Mac was alive, yeah. Yeah, so I can kill, I can kill him, but I, I'm choosing not to. Where is this guy? Is he up on the rock? No, he's right there. Oh yeah, this... This, there was a game called Tactics. It was third person, like for the first time. Yeah, but it wasn't. What no, do you it wasn't want? third person. And don't try anything funny. You speak truly, for it is unlikely that an outsider would know Fallout both the elders' third name person. and You're their probably right. Very well. I've been observing the penal facility there in the distance for some time now, after having followed some rather disturbing rumors. 
The facility was run by the NCR for a time, but the prisoners overcame their guards and now use the prison as a base from which to conduct raids. What puzzles me is why these men have been allowed to run wild for so long unchecked. Why has the NCR not retaken this place? Give this to the Elder. My observations are all within. Perhaps he will have a better idea of what this situation portends. Our steps. Yeah, I know. I don't know either. I, I thought that Fallout 3 was the first 3D for like like third person view for that game, but if it's not, it's not. If it is, it is. I just thought that Fallout 3 was because I think um I think I think Fallout 3 was being made by the original creator, and it was going to be another isometric. And then when Bethesda bought it. I think they all just went, do we want an isometric game or do we want to bring, like, bring it to life? Like, not bring it to life, but do, do we want people to play isometrically or do we want people to be in the apocalypse, to feel that they're in the apocalypse? There is quite a lot of history with the Fallout games and Bethesda and all their ideas. Where is this dude? I'm not even fucking close to him. The Walking Dead. Do you know the Walking Dead games? Like the Telltale Walking Dead games? Oh, okay. Gotta go this way. I know of them, but I have never played them. I know how the story is, how the story ends, and everything like that. Um, you were right. Fallout 3 is the first actual third person Fallout. See? I know some things. Hey, don't take another Thanks step. Thanks for that, Nathan Hunter. Now life. everyone else knows. For what purpose do you approach me? Strange that the Elder should send an outsider, but I suppose he has his reasons. My observations have mostly focused on the small town to the south of here. It was cruelly attacked, its inhabitants slain nearly to the last. That such an act could occur so far west is nearly unthinkable. The NCR has forces in all directions, and an outpost scant miles west from here. That they have not responded to this violence shows either an unwillingness or inability to properly defend their borders which is telling. I've collected such musings in this report. Please take it to the Elder. And the last guy is over here, isn't he? West. Go to New Vegas soon. I'm bored. No, there's really nothing to do in New Vegas. I don't gamble. Like I know that there are quests in New Vegas. I know that, but I'm not going to be to be going to New Vegas until later. I'm sorry, Shadow Clan. I do, I do appreciate you checking out my streams and 
if you are subscribed, well, I'm glad that you're a subscriber. But no, I'm not going to be... Oh, I'm going the wrong fucking way. But no, I won't be going to New Vegas. Not until there's a quest there. I might be going, I might actually go to Freeside after doing this. Because I know that there's some quests in Freeside. So I hope that... I hope that suffices you. That sounded bad, didn't it? Suffices. Yeah, I was going the wrong way. I was going west, not east. I keep thinking the west is on the right, and I don't know why. Getting dumber by the day. I mean, like, steal some stuff and be risky. <laughs> Why would I do that? I just... <laughs> That's probably... I don't... I don't do that. I love that they can still... I love that those fucking Cazadors can get through my armor. There is reason to be cautious here. Am I still losing health? Yep. You feel woozy, but I can still see. Approach slowly, stranger. If you have no business with me, then go. Then I am sworn to report. I've been dividing my time between the camps to the north and south of here. One belongs to the NCR, the other to a band of slavers known as Caesar's Legion. I was sure the NCR would quickly win, but that has not happened. Instead, the two sides have reached a stalemate and only occasionally send skirmishers against one another. If I didn't know better, I'd say neither side is confident enough to push for a full victory. Which seems strange given the NCR's technological edge. In any event, I've recorded my findings in this report. Please deliver it to the Elder. I'm sure he will find the contents most interesting. Okay, and then after this, I think I gotta do the air. I gotta do the virus in the air. Um... I like glitches that if you hold something and put it underneath you in a corner, you elevate up a wall and volley one. <laughs> yes, Bethesda, has, Bethesda games are known for glitches. I'm pretty sure I saw a um, playthrough as a baby, and you could glitch the whole game out so you could always be as a baby killing people. It was really it, re it looked really, really good. Finding the scouts, or did you have something to discuss? Good, let's take a look. If I'm reading this right, it appears that the NCR's grip on this region is nowhere near as firm as I thought. I'll have to review these in Since detail, when he but saw these reports have given me much to think about. Thank you, outsider. You've become someone I can count on, so I believe Since I can share something rather confidential with you. Um. The device that creates the sandstorms above, that masks our comings and goings, was only intended to be used in case of emergencies. It was never meant to be used with any regularity, and the other systems here were not designed to accommodate such usage. In particular, the air filtration system simply cannot handle the quantity of sand and grit that it's been forced to cope with these last few years. As a result, the system is failing, albeit slowly. I'm told we have a scant few months before it shuts down completely. Should that happen, 
It will quickly become impossible to breathe here in the bunker. Already the air quality begins to slightly worsen. I would like you to find the components we need to fix this bunker's air filtration system. I cannot overstate the importance of this task. See Senior Knight Lorenzo for the details. He's the one who brought the matter to my attention, and the only other person who is aware of it. Uh, since when has Saw been a game? Uh, I don't remember when Saw fully came out as a game, but I do remember playing it, or Saw 2 or something. Hey. I thought it was really good. I thought it was fun. Where is he? That one. Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. Oh, there are patrols, just not exploratory ones. We've been in a state of lockdown for, well, let's just say it's been a while. The only time anyone gets to go topside is guard duty or to gather provisions. Okay, Other than that, it's steel walls and fluorescent lights for us. Nah, it's not so bad. The world outside isn't exactly a paradise, you know. Still, you can only breathe recirculated air for so long. We've got more than a few people in here who are going a little stir crazy. Yes, did you have an idea that might help us? What? No, that. That's brilliant! It would let us seal a portion of the virus My friend to a had particular a, terminal, had a, even when the other okay, parts hold on, move. One sec. My friend had a joke, would you like to join the Antisocial Society? The joke is the acronym of the name. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. Give you it. This deer. The virus just jumped. Find which terminals it went to. Yeah, I got the acronym. So this might take a while, guys, because I don't know how which computers you definitely need to go to. Us. Where is he? Did you want to try isolating the virus? Okay, which one is this one? The virus just jumped. Find which terminals it went to. That's it. We got it. The virus has been purged. You actually did it? If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? Okay. With all. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Ah, oh, you people are so fucking annoying. Where am I going? Oh, I gotta find these. Lorenzo. Lorenzo. No, Lorenzo was. Ah, oh, god damn it. I know where Lorenzo is. 
sorry. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Hmm? Oh, you must be the outsider everyone's buzzing about. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lorenzo, senior knight and general handyman around here. So now I'm going to have your death on my conscience, too? Great. You think you're the first person the Elders trusted with this? He sent three of our patrols out looking for those components, and they're all dead. I was the one who supplied the Elder with the location of possible sites where we could find the components, so their deaths are my fault. And now it's your turn. Well, don't say you weren't warned. I won't take the blame when you die horribly. But I can tell you're getting impatient. The items I'll need to keep the system running are a differential pressure controller, a reverse pulse cleaner, and several HEPA cartridge filters. At present, my best guess for finding the items would be to search any of the old vaults in the area. Those vaults were usually built much like these military bunkers, even using the same contractors in their constructions at times. I'll mark the vaults' locations on your map. Best of luck to you. I heard a special squad of rangers is on its way to the base. Well, we're going to the vaults, we're going to the vaults, we're going to the vaults, we're going to the vaults. Just ignore it.
Vizier's uh, office. Oh, I think I remember this. Yeah, I think I gotta swim. I think I gotta go swimming or something for a bit. Have text to speech. You, well, I don't think I can. Well, well, actually, no, I can't. Well, yeah, I know what you're talking about, but at this moment in time, I know what you're talking about, but at this moment in time, I don't think I get enough viewers or anything like that to uh, really need it that much, if that makes sense. If I start getting more viewers and more comments that I can't read, that I can't read when they're said, then maybe I'll look into it. But for right now, I don't really think it's necessary. For some reason, my O on my keyboard doesn't work for very much. I don't know why. It's it it just it just doesn't work properly. So, yep. So, send me saying hello and welcome to the chat. It's hell and welcome.
fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. Go to the light. Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. It's okay, Shadow Clan. It you've been offered up Thanks. as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, you may be feeling sad or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. But march with your chin held high, we soldier. And remember that each of us has an important role to play. For some people, their role might be to heal the sick. For others, it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. And some of us are meant to forfeit our lives for the good of the people. Sure, it might not be as fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. Let's take a moment to reflect on the moments that made your life worth living. Think about that time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget when you met the love of your life? What a looker. These are just examples. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as you think of these things? Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now and imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good. God, are you? Oh, fuck you, Vault Tech. Fuck you to hell and back. How many overseers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, seven overseers. Oh, there's more over here. I'm back. Love being mod, but not with spammers. I hate spammers as well. I understand. Oh my god. I think the very first time I ever played that part... I didn't know what was happening and I got fucking wrecked. Well, my frames have dropped a bit. Oh, because of that, that's why. Oh, wait, wrong way. Wait, hold on. No, no, this was, wait, was it right way? No, this way. Sorry, I'm just... Yeah. Fallout 1 in uh, Vault 13, like unlucky number. Oh, there we go. Box, come on, out 
not too good. So now we're going over to the next vault over here to find something, or grab something. Where's the NCR? Oh, the NCR is Camp McNamara, is it not or something? McElmore? No. Camp McCarran. No? Fuck. I know it's a Mc something. Actually, I might actually be worried about that too. Ow. Camp McCarran? That sounds like an army base. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Where did they go? I just want to turn up the music a little bit. There we are still in the game. I still know that death calls in Fallout 4 are so fucking dangerous. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going the wrong fucking way. Like I was going the wrong bloody way. I always go the wrong way in this game. Always. No more games. Um, why are you attacking me? I have animal friends. Oh wait, I don't think fire geckos are animals. I think fire geckos are abominations or something like that. It does look better though, doesn't it, the game? Like, I know some things have just rendered in, but I feel like it looks better. It's not stuttering as... Is the stream still okay or is it, or is it still Careful. choppy? I don't know if it was Shadow Clan yesterday who told me it was choppy. I forget. Sorry if it was you. I'm sorry. It looks okay to me. Don't kill me. Nope. Okay, so now we're gonna lose some frames. Can you go to Deathcore Valley? I will get to Deathcore Valley. 
in time. It probably won't be this stream. It'll probably be another stream, but I will go to Deathclaw Valley. I'll even go and try and find the legendary Deathclaw. Which isn't really legendary when there's so many of them in fucking Flora. doing here? You got some kind of fucking death wish, asshole? If you're fucking carrying, just fucking say so. Yeah, deliver to the boss. Business as usual. Motor runners down in the maintenance wing. Straight through the door behind me, down the hall, down the stairs to the right. We have a con coming through to see the boss. Don't shoot at him. See, this doesn't look bad. Except the people here got slaughtered because of these fuckers, so I don't know if I should kill them or just carry on. Oh, did I miss it? I, th oh, I think I missed it. I wasn't expecting a resupply so soon. Do so you have anything from Red Rock Canyon to sell me? I guess it isn't a secret. Yeah, the residents of the vault are all dead. We killed them. Funny thing is, they just let us in. We didn't have to force the doors or anything. We can get the fuck out. Um... Where is it? There it is. Much tougher to push around with that new sheriff down there. See, I don't know if I should kill them or not. I wonder if there's bounties in this game. Oh yeah, we gotta walk all the way there, don't we? Yeah. Forgot about that. I like it. Yeah. I was going to hide that comment. Shadow Clan. Sunset sarsaparilla bottle implant.
Sorry, I'm having a rough time. My mom got a COVID test and we are waiting. I read it, and I did what you said, Shadow Clan. Just, uh, when it comes to personal things, you guys, please don't, uh, put them in my chat. If you're having a bad time with something, that's fine. But, uh, you know, just, I don't know. I guess you can put them in the chat. I'll probably hide them from other people. But, I don't know. All I have to do is find two more... All the way down the bottom. Wait, no, no, no. I, re I remember this. I remember this. Yeah, I remember this. I think this is. I think this has something. I think coming here has something to do with another quest as well. Yeah, it's a good
raindrops now.
where the fuck it is. Oh my god, my head is hurting. So hopefully that lets us go to where we need to go. I just didn't check this side, that's all we got. Thank you. 
just don't know where to go with this fucking map. go to the overseas office. Just, it's so confusing some of the layouts, but no. getting a bit choppy now, isn't it? Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? Really? I mean, that's great. I knew you could do it all along. I'll get right to work installing these. Why don't you go tell the Elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. There have been reports that the NCR is moving more and more troops into the area. Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? <sighs> Good news for a change. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. 
You have done more than I could expect, even from my brothers. Moreover, I've been going over the scouts' reports and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. We should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence, but I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios, but I left that battle scarred by fear and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. With luck, we will once again flourish. Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks, and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you, but is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key will allow you to use our safe house to the northeast. I hope it will prove useful in your travels. Saint Freeside, gentlemen. Things look to be building up on either side of the dam. This doesn't. <laughs> There's nothing here. There's no one here. Hi. How are you today? What's the point of having... Hi. Hey. Anything going on? I'm here. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all. Stop by Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs, sir. Okay. Did you hear someone manage to fight their way through the chairman and flee the strip after being caught? I wonder if they're hiding out in Freeside. I saw a guy try to rush through the south gate a few days ago. Nothing left but dust, you know? What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the kings rule. And the king rules the kings, got it? Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Some nut attempted to kill the head of one of Mr. House's families recently. Whoever did is either crazy or has balls the size of Freeside. <laughs> Did you hear someone manage to fight their way through the chairman and flee the strip after being caught? Wonder if they're hiding out in Freeside. Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. 
Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him, play the part of an innocent tourist, and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Okay, sounds simple enough. Did you hear someone that can fight their way through? Hey. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Some grub. I g if you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. To your left here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever knew there, sir. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. We've got Let stuff we're not even allowed to sell, know. people. Okay. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freesock till you've been to the Wrangler. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. It's a trap. It's an ambush. Those men, he's working with those men to uh, get more money from me. Gotcha. Such a good ambush, huh? Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. I ought to take my chances and kill you right here, but you may be right. Here, take this. Don't think this is over, though. I'll have that money back, out of your hide if I have to. Be aware of the present moment. I knew it was a trap. I knew it. He, he was paying... yeah. I knew it was a trap. You can tell, like... I'm not saying that I'm Dr. Sherlock Holmes or Detective Sherlock Holmes, but you can tell, oh wait. We gotta go this way, those guys look sketchy. It's like, no, no, you're sketchy, mate. Did you hear someone manage to fight their way through?
What do you have for me? So that's how it happens. Okay, then. I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something. So maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Nick and Harrell. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanting to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. That true? Did the king really send you? I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lieutenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. <laughs> Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Talk to Julie Farkas and see that both the followers are anything about the situation. Let's do that to get a few more XP. I don't really need the XP, but it just, it, it, I just want to do it. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Ugh. It's, no, it's not choppy. I think it was only in certain sections of the game that it gets choppy. Even.
Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. What do you want to talk about? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Great! How much? Th Thanks for the donation. Every bit goes... More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community, if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. What quest are we doing? Yeah. Major Elizabeth Karen. You must have some real pull with house. Um, hold up. Where's, where's Major Elizabeth Karen? Come to Mick and Ralph for all your shopping needs.
You seen Dixon around? He said he'd be back today. Julie? Oh, I love Julie. She's such a nice lady. One time I was working on the water pump, and she came over, put her hand on my shoulder, and told me I was doing a great job. <laughs> great job, she says. I just choked up and didn't say nothing. Compliments are so rare these days. Drop drinking? I've been drinking for a straight month. Listen, I I've tried to stop, but the withdrawal symptoms are so bad, I feel like I'm gonna die. I, I can't stop now. Dixon sells me booze dirt cheap. It does the job, but it tastes like paint thinner, and I feel like I'm gonna die if I stop drinking for a day. I swear that guy's trying to kill me, but what can I do? Drinking other booze doesn't cure the sickness like he is. See ya. So both of these are increased size. Now both of them. <laughs> I am so confused. Pump is property of the king. You'll need to pay if you want. Yep. I'm just gonna find a squatter can. If it can be bought, it can be found at Nick and Ralph. We've got stuff we're not. Sorry, everyone. The map is kind of confusing. So. Chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. I feel young and strong, as long as I get my chems. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was going to turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? The primal part pulling me away. Hello. Don't think I've seen your face before. Are you a citizen of the NCR? In that case, I'm sorry. Our program is only for citizens of the NCR. Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. The last person stupid enough to follow me down this alley. Get this fool, boys! Pulling me away. 
like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? Now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm gonna have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizenship status. That okay with you? That's a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, the Boneyard, or Vault 13? Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear, an eagle, a two-headed snake, or a two-tailed lion? Oh, I'm sorry. Now I know you're from the NCR. None of the vagrants around here would even think of giving their money away. We're located up by the old train station in the northwest part of town. Just tell the guards hope and they'll let you through. Best of luck to you. I don't know half the shit in this fucking game. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. What did you say? The north part? Investigate the rumors of free food and water being handed out nightly in the northwest part of Freeside. So this guy over here. The king controls the water pump. If you want water, you need to pay like everyone else. If we let everyone run amok, the damn NCR would shut us down. We've gotta have some way to regulate usage. Just a few cats. Pump is property of the king. You'll need to pay if you want to. Investigate rumors of free food and water being handed out nightly in the northwest part of Freeside. Evening. To make a brief stop at the atomic rank, where the food is cheaper. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. It can be bought. It can be found. 
I am so confused. Okay, shadow fan. Okay, so this is the. It's amazing that people trust you enough not to attack. I think this takes me back, yeah, this takes me back to the Commonwealth. Yeah, this takes me back to the Commonwealth. Okay. Uh, I, gotta, I don't know where these fucking... Uh, so confusing, this game. Investigate what I mean that nightly at Freeside. confused with what to do with this. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Yes, I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. You're quite welcome. If you meet anyone who needs food or water in the area, please tell them about this place. Yes? Was there something? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? You were right. But here, take another. Things are getting so 
such a confusing game sometimes. But I found a way to get back to the capital wasteland. It's not like I need to go back there anyways. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies, like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Nothing's innocent in Freeside. You should know that by now. No, I'm guessing they're doing something they know will cause a row, like keeping the food all to themselves. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. I'm gonna see that those supplies are distributed a little more... What the hell? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. I want you to back him up. See this through, and there'll be something good waiting for you when you get back. I'll do it. Make a restock you want the Atomic dead? Wrangler. Really? When the booth is cheaper... I'll get the I'll get the famousness from the NCR. I'll go and help them out a lot. It's still so fucking annoying. Probably should have talked to that shit bitch earlier. Did you hear someone managed to fight their way through the chairman and flee the strip after being caught? I wonder if they're hiding out in Freeside. I've already heard all about what happened, and all I can say is that I and all of Freeside thank you. Thank you very much. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want, and if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. It's all, Toss it it's around in your head a little. You only get one favor fine. from the king. Oh. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Near as I can tell, with some sort of religious institution. Oh, I know it says school out front, but everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. Not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it, and those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the King. Well, that and the giant sign outside. 
This place could have been the king's house of dog chow, and I still would have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool, and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too, along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. Sure thing. I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. Very he was a little dog. dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. <laughs> hey, says mine. No, they said they don't have the tools to help him. For now, but they said eventually he's gonna get worse. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon Fork north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Yeah, I don't, do you really think Farkas is gonna fucking talk to me after I just killed a fucking best friend? Did you hear someone manage to fight their way through the chairman and flee the strip after being caught? What if they're hiding out in Freesack? I hate it that I killed them. I fucking hate this game sometimes. Um, where do I... If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph. One of my aides said you got into the Lucky 38. If you see someone by the name of Emily near there, we would like you to work for us. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. No, Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. I didn't say that. While no one here has that kind of expertise, I do know of one man who might fit the bill. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. No problem. <sighs> Sorry, I thought that was a bobblehead. I was confused. I'm pretty sure there's no bobbleheads in hey. this fucking game. Um, who was it? Emily. That's what it was. Actually. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to go. I just, I can't believe I if attacked the NCR. Can be found Fuck me, around. that is so dumb. But like I said, I'll do a lot for the NCR to get them back on my side. This motherfucker self so sad having sex with this fucking hooker, isn't he? King do for you she said what why didn't she just say so when I was there actually come to think of it I was pretty angry when I went down there I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables maybe knocking out one of her doctors anyway that's incredible news Jesus only thing is there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that and I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here you seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here and you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here if you're going to be traveling together. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient. But you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect him as you would me. Rex has given you a search and... Alright. I'll see you later. Can I have both? <gasps> yes! I can have Rex and the doggy! Yeah! Awesome! I heard some squatters talking about some fancy pants rangers coming into the area soon. Like we need more NCR here. Where is the exit? Where is the stairs in this shithole? Right. What is worse than a worm in an apple? It depends on what kind of worm. I can't. Depends on what kind of apple we're talking about. A fruit or the phone? What's up? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this stream. I'm sorry if it's just shorter sort of stream. I know that I was going to try and. Uh, yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this stream. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any. Uh, Wait, every time on. If you want to follow me on the social medias, there are links in the description. Half a worm and an apple. Oh, okay. Do you mind? I'm talking. Anyways, yeah, so that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to follow me on the social medias, there are links in the description. Other than that, I'll see you all in the next stream. Goodbye for now. Thanks again for watching. I am Slowfat Wombat.